All right, here is my completed tri-state H-bridge circuit. It's being controlled by a pickaxe 18 m 2 That's a separate video. We're going to pull that back out of the way. Here is my TTL or 5 volt to 12 volt interface circuit. This is the voltage going into the system. I'm going to use the pulse width modulation out of the pickaxe to slow it down so you can see it. And it's programmed to stop and reverse direction. As you see there, or I can just cut it off. All right, here is our input interface circuit between the pickaxe microcontroller or Arduino and whatever, which connects to these pins. On this side, I connect my 12 volt circuitry on DIN 1, DIN 2, and enable. What I used in this case was a 74LS07. It's a 14 pin device that contains six complete non inverting open collector drivers. We will see momentarily why this is important. Let's note a few things on TTL circuits such as this. On the inputs, particularly if there's no nothing connected, you absolutely need pull down resistors on the inputs of these little gates regardless. All, I used a 1K, a 2.2K also works. And note, I only use three of the six. The other three that I'm not using, you tie the unused inputs to ground. So note, any inputs that you're normally using needs a pull-down resistor. You cannot let it just float there. No way. Have to have the pull-down resistors. And on the output, as you'll see when I further on in the video is going to be open collector I need pull-up resistors to VCC the 7407 is operating at 5 volts and the output is pulled up through resistors to VCC which in the case of everything I'm doing is going to be 12 volts now let's center in on these interface circuits and how to literally build your own circuits, which is what the idea is, so you don't go having to chase parts all over the planet. Before we go on, let's note something. This VCC can be 3 to 15 volts. VGS, that's voltage between the gain and the gate and the source on the two MOSFETs, is limited to 20 volts. So this circuit here is limited to 3 to 15 volts VCC and the inputs have to note have to match VCC. If I'm running this at 12 volts and I try to input 5 volts directly from an Arduino, it will not work. Also note if you just need if you don't have a prototyping setup like I own these can be your inputs this is your DIN and this is your enable and so forth let's move on you're viewing here a 7404 this is a TTL circuit it runs at 5 volts it has six complete inverter circuits this is your basic diagram here. It's a collection of NPN transistors. And very simply, if it's a high in and a low out or a low in, it's a high out. It simply inverts the logic level. It's limited to 5 volts. And that's not going to help us as far as trying to go to a drive a CMOS circuit running at 12 volts with a 5 volt microcontroller. This won't help. Just for your information, this output configuration here is called a totem pole output. Now we come to the 7406 integrated circuit. Like the 7404, it contains six complete inverters in a single package, but with a big difference. The output is not totem pole. 
The output is an open collector NPN transistor. And we can use this with a pull up to direct to VCC to directly interface a 5 volt circuit to the CMOS circuit running at 12. But note this thing has to still run it. This VCC is 5 volts. Don't remember that. The problem is with this is I don't want this to be inverting. I want a high in, I want a high out. If I have a high in through this digital, through these transistors, a high in will switch this output transistor on to ground. And if you have a pull up, it's going to go low. So it's high, low, high, low, high, low. This is a 7407 that I used on my pro on my project. Here's the package. It actually contains, of course, six non-inverting open collector drivers. High, if I have a high in, this output transistor turns off, and where I had those pull-up resistors before, it will go high. So this is non-inverting. The output transistor on this one is rated at 30 volts. So I can interface um, logic that's operating at anywhere from 3 to 30 volts with this device. And I can still have 5 volt input from, say, a uh, pickaxe controller or Arduino or whatever. Remember, the VCC here on this part is 5 volts. It is not 12 volts. Once again, the VCC on this device is 5 volts. If you remember in the earlier slide, I was using the spare gates of a CD4011 to form inverters. Well, you can take any spare NAND or NOR gate, tie the two inputs together, and it's the same and it will form an inverter for you also let's note something else remember the original diagram well okay what if you needed an open collector and or or gate you could take a NAND gate through a resistor an NPN transistor with a pull-up resistor to VCC or 5 volts or whatever you need this circuit here forms an AND gate for you, just like that. If you need a OR gate and not a NOR gate, you can do the same thing as illustrated there. Here is to illustrate the point once again with transistors. If I was to take this circuit down here, particularly this one on the bottom, I can form an AND gate. But if I needed an open collector non-inverting driver such as that in the 7407 connect the two inputs to this NAND gate together connect through a thousand ohm transistor to a NPN transistor as shown does the exact same thing that uh, my 7407 did so this over here can be any spare NAND NOR or whatever gates you have running them as a inverter and of course when you connect them to a transistor in this configuration it's inverting and thus high in will turn off Q1 and if you have a pull-up resistor you will have a high out did the same thing as the 7407 once again, here is a, another set of circuits that depending on how you connect it up, you can connect between 5 volt circuits and say 15 and 12 volt circuits. Over here, for example, this NAND gate, that's a 7400. Um, that's, a, that can, that's quad 2 input NAND gates. They're 5 volt devices. Through a transistor with a pull up, I can interface directly with a CMOS circuit and it's non-inverting. High in means high out, low in, low out, same thing as this 7407 with a pull-up resistor. If I need to go from CMOS to TTL, I'm doing that down here. This could be a uh, 
CD4011 NAND gate, of course, you're going through an NPN transistor again. Note these resistor values. And the collector is pulled up to 5 volts, so it's 12 to 15 volts CMOS to TTL. Again, you probably, this, you can build almost everything I'm going over with NAND gates, pretty much, if you keep in mind that you can create your own inverters, use a few transistors, and so forth. Okay, this completes this short lecture on CMOS and TTL interfacing. I appreciate you watching my video. Please click the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also you can find complete schematics and details to these projects at www.bristolwatch.com ele3 index or whatever. Thank you for listening.